Well, hello and welcome to Dhaka in Bangladesh for the 22nd Asian Archery Championships, this edition, the 2021 edition. And we have archers from 16 countries here competing for 10 titles, three of which will be decided in this session. Yes, the men's and women's and mixed teams titles in compound are about to be decided. So thank you for joining us wherever you're watching. It is a pleasure to be with you today. Glenn Lama is my name and with me is former world number one, Nikki Hunt, and it's going to be hot and sticky today, Nikki, here in Dakar, expected to get up to 31 degrees Celsius, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 80%, it's hot and it's going to be sticky. Yeah, that is pretty hot and humid for these arches, but look at those wind socks looking pretty still in the stadium, so they definitely would wish for that. Yes, indeed. It's nothing like uh, what we've expected in some other parts of the world, is it? Uh, it's going to be an interesting competition, this one, isn't it? What are your expectations heading into these teams' matches in this session? Yeah, I mean, Korea have been dominant, haven't they? You know, they've qualified really well, setting some records on the way. It's really going to be a case of if some of these other teams can try and beat them to these gold medals and bronze medals here. It's going to be very difficult for the teams to knock over the Koreans who have been in stellar form so far, that is for sure. All right, let's have a look at the session as we look forward to this one coming up. First of all, we're going to have the women's team's gold medal match between Korea and Iran, then the men's team's gold, Korea playing Kazakhstan, morning, and, and then gentlemen. we have the mixed team's Welcome bronze the medal between Asia Iran and Kazakhstan, and the mixed team's gold with Korea back again playing India. So that is the schedule in the session, four medals to be decided. And here we go, it is the women's team's gold medal uh, contestants coming out now to compete for the title in 2021. Korea playing Iran and a Korean team, a very experienced lineup. And they uh, qualified in first position in a championship record score of 2045. And they have come through to this title in very good form indeed, with a good strong win over Kazakhstan in their semi-final match. In target number one, Team Korea, representing Kim Yoon Hee, Oh Yoo San, Song Yon Su in target number two, Team Islamic Republic of Iran, representing Giza Baiburdi, Rahela Farsi, Kosar Kushudi. The line for this match is Rupesh Kaur. So there are the uh, archers. So Kim Yun Hee, the number one seed for Korea. And uh, she finished her qualifying with a score of 708. And uh, she is the number one seed and uh, not far behind the behind her was Oh and Song, her teammates in second and third place. Bibori finished in eighth in the individual qualifying, Farsi in 11th, and Kashnu Dikia in 17th position. Iran coming into this match here, having won their semi-final over India by 227 points to 220. That f followed a win over Bangladesh in the previous round by just a point, 227 to 226. So that one was tighter. Timer checking. Please wait. Sorry for the interruption. So not too far away from the start here. With the Koreans in the Compound Kim having already competed in one Asian Championship preset previously, winning the team's title in 2015. She's been to three World Championships as well. Oh Yun Hyun is debuting at these Asian Championships. And in the background there you can see Song. Yes. 
She has competed in three Asian championships previously, winning three golds two years ago, or two rather, two years ago, and one in 2015. So a powerful lineup, mind you, most Korean teams that come to world or Asian championships are strong and very skillful. So here we go. It's the women's team's gold medal match in the Asian championships in compound. Ten. X. It's a good start. Let's start from the Koreans, these conditions being quite calm, that's what we'd expect. Nine. Well, I'm slightly wayward one there from the bow of O there, Nikki, but uh, 29 from 30 so far for the Koreans. Now we have our first look at the Iranian team. Nine. Just see a little bit more movement on that bow, just not settling down. Probably some nerves just to start us off. Well, it's a first uh, two-point margin for Korea halfway through this first end. No 10 so far for the Iranians. Kim on the shooting line. Nine, probably 10. Currently ranked uh, 51 in the world. She has been as high as three. Nine. Just so generally all... look more solid. Yes, they do. They're looking solid, aren't they, Nikki? As we see, oh, yeah. fire. We'll have a crack at this last one here. And that's a good finish. So 48 from 50. And that goes to 58 up to 60, of course, after the first end for the Koreans. This one is looking solid so far as we see Farsi. Nine. Probably on that line there, but you can just see such a difference, can't you, in the holds of these archers. So the Iranians just looking a little bit more unsteady, a little bit of movement through their bows. Have a look at that long rod at the front. Um, just see a little bit Ten. more movement there. Great arrow there from Kostner Dekia, the most inexperienced of the Iranians, and now it's Gisa Bibodi. Well, what a wonderful finish there to that end there, Nikki. That's kept the Iranians in touch. Has indeed, so yeah. They really needed that to keep the pressure on. 58 to 57 it is in that first uh, end. And they did. They came back strongly there, the Iranians. Yeah, you, you've just got to put the pressure on these Koreans. You know, you can't let them run away with it. This is raw score over four ends, so... You know, they're keeping in touch, which is exactly what they need to do. Yeah, conditions very uh, good. You can just see a bit of breeze on those flags above the targets there. Maybe blowing into the faces of the archers just a tad. That 
probably won't be affecting them too much. So with a headwind sometimes that can uh, push the arrows a little bit low. But I mean, these are compound archers shooting over 50 metres. So they've probably got a, a speed of around 300 feet a second. So the arrows unlikely to be affected by these sort of conditions. And anyone would go for a head or tailwind versus a crosswind. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so... Yeah, conditions I mentioned earlier, it's uh, 31 degrees Celsius, getting up to 88 Fahrenheit. That's getting warm for the archers. But it's great in these COVID times just to see an event like this actually being held, Nikki. I mean, it's, um, it's a great credit to all the organisers in World Archery, isn't it? It really is, you know, it's, uh, you know, trying to get back to our new normal when these fantastic events being held through World Archery as well. It's great to see. So we've now had confirmation of those scores and Korea have gone that one point ahead with a 58 to so Iran's 57. Great effort though by the Iranians to score three tens in the back half of that end. You don't want to be more than a point or two behind early on in the match. Here we go, in number two now of four in the women, women's team's gold medal match at the 2021 Asian Archery Championships in the compound. The Iranian team of Gisa Bordi, Rahela Fasi and Kosa Kosnadukia to go first in this end. Nine. Well, it was a long hold that time from Fassi. Now Gisa Bobordi. Nine. Just making some side adjustments. So, going to look at the conditions, talk to your teammates. And make those changes to the site if necessary. Got to get themselves back in the 10 here, and they do. Yeah, good finish there from Babordi that time. And now we'll expect the Koreans' high standards to continue as Kim Yun hee comes back to the shooting line. It's three tens in a row from her so far. The only archer to have a perfect scorecard. Ten. That was more like it from Song Yun Su, as we see. Oh, Hu Hyun. Ten. Complete three tens there for the Koreans. Halfway through the second end. And so that one point lead is now extended out to three. Nine. Little movement of that front arm. She knew when it went off it wasn't quite going to go in the middle so tried to make the adjustment but not quite enough these compound Just arches are looking through magnified scopes Nine. well just one ten from the bow of Farsi and one from Koshna Dikia so far It's three in a row from Babordi, and the Iranians needed that one, Nikki. Yeah, they really did. They've got to put the pressure on Korea. You know, you just can't let them run away with this. So, got to keep as close to them as you can. 
try and put that pressure on as we go into the final stages. Ten. Korean shoot and a Ten. sort of a more of a kind of recurve style, I guess. You can see their nice, lovely straight front arms and as we said, very, very steady with their bows as well. So, O oh, here to complete the end. X. And they have a perfect end there of six straight tens. No wonder they're smiling. And that uh, one point lead after end number one has now extended to five. And uh, the Koreans starting to look very comfortable on the shooting line now as they find their form nicely in this women's team's gold final. Good communication oh, with that for team there. Aren't they? And, uh, they continue to talk and they know exactly what they want to do, Nikki, don't they, or how to improve it? That's right, yeah. We just saw them talking together as a team with their coach, you know, and that, that's really important um, in the team round. You've got your competitors there with you, so whatever's happening, you know, win conditions or anything like that, you can talk with each other, support each other through the match, and they're doing that really well. And, you know, they're often quite quiet, aren't they, as a team, and just relaxed and, and calm. The second end of the match, we got uh, the result in oh, really nice uh, in there for the Koreans and of the 12 arrows that have shot so far 10 tens and just two nines so that's the standard that you have to match or even better don't you Nikki I mean uh, just one arrow that can slide into the nine can have a huge impact against the Koreans yeah compound at this level 50 meters you know we're gonna see lots of tens and you've just got to stick with it as I say Iran's really got to put as many in there as they can, try and put a little bit of pressure on the Koreans going into the, the third and fourth end, but oh, it's going to be hard to come back now. They've just got to keep solid. Well, the Iranians have done brilliantly to get to the final. They uh, upset the Indians in the semi-final quite comfortably, in fact, by seven points. They followed a one-point win over Bangladesh in the previous round, so Iran have done really well to get to compete for gold here. But... It's a different level again, facing Korea, and that's what they're going to have to come back from here. A five-point deficit as we begin the third end, and up steps Rahela Fassi to begin it. X. Ten. Nice arrow to finish with there from Gisa Bavoidi. Current world ranking is 78, so she's enjoying herself out there. Now Kim Yun Hee once again. Nine. Quite a wide nine Ten as well. Is. Just checking with their coach. Mm. First real <laughs> whoopsie we've seen from the Koreans if there ever was one. Yeah, radar right, slightly off there as Song. X. Well, that's a nice comeback. Song starting to heat up. She has three straight tens now. We're going to see a lot of Kim through this session with the, who also involved in the mixed teams. Ten. And oh, with a 10, takes the Korean score to 147, halfway through end number three.
Much longer yes. hold with that shot. A lot of movement of the bow as well, but straight into the 10. Yeah, it was a nice adjustment there from Fasi. Oshnu Dekia. Just one ten from five so far. Nine. Not quite hitting her form as she would like at the moment. A little bit of a flinch we saw from her there. Oh, she's got a 10. That's five in a row from her. The Wardy seems to be the best of the Iranians in this gold medal match so far with five from six. X. That's more like it from Kim. She's recovered. From that uh, previous nine. Nine. Ten. Well, good to see them smiling. They're happy. And uh, oh, that's uh, five tens in a row from her now. So that ends the third end of four. And the Korean team look like they've preserved their five-point lead. Yeah, I think one of the biggest differences here with the Koreans, you know, they just look so solid and these compound archers use their stabilisation systems to try and get those bows holding as still as possible. We've got the long rods out the front, the short rods you can see. Most people are just using one to one side now. And you can adjust those in, out, up, down, how much weight you have on them as well, which just helps you hold the bows still as possible. Yes, it's a never-ending never quest to find the perfect setup. Uh, in archery and a lot of sports actually Nikki there's always uh, the, the temptation that something can be improved somewhere yeah particularly compound it's so technical um, you know you're looking at fine gains fine sort of controls so yeah lots of testing you can do it's uh, at some point you've got to say hey I've done everything I can on this bow now let's go out and shoot it well it's a five point game with a one in to go so six scores left going to be difficult for the Iranians to make up this five-point deficit. They're really going to be needing perfection or close to it here to have any chance at all. But it's not impossible. So here we go. Fourth and final end of the women's team's gold medal match in the compound archery at the Asian Archery Championships of 2021. Rahila Fassi coming to the shooting line, the 28-year-old. Just see a little breeze there on that finger sling, just blowing a little bit. And she did brilliantly to fight through it. I was wavering just a tad. See the communication Next. between the team members there as well about, you know, just blowing a little bit, got to aim off, so they've got to communicate with each other, make sure they are making those adjustments. And now Gisa Bobordi, who has been the best of the Iranians in this match so far. She's going for a 6-10 in a row and she just drifted it right. That's hard luck. So now here comes Kim Yun Hee once again. Very experienced archer in compound. Ten. Ten. 
Song Yun Su, four tens, two nines so far. Nine. X. Yeah, it's a beauty, that one. So five point lead still with three arrows left in the match. Nine. That could be called up. It looked close to the line to me. She saw a little adjustment of her arm. She knew it was going to go off to that side and just trying to drag it over. Yeah, might have grabbed the line. Let's see. As we see, Kostin Dukia again with her last arrow of the match. Ten. There's no doubt about that one. So Gisa Babordi here needs a ten. Brilliant arrow from her to end Iran's quest here in the gold medal match. So, 229, possibly 230. As we see Kim now lining up her last arrow. 10. That one's definitely grabbed the line. So 15, 16 to win to make it absolutely certain. Should be within the grasp here of Song and O. Oh. This is Song. Ten. Well, just a, a six needed here. And or just a, an arrow on the target, really, from O. Oh. And it'll be Korea's title. Excellent. And what a way to end it with three tens in a row. And it is the Korean team who win gold here in Dakar, Bangladesh. They are the champions in the women's teams for 2021. Score of 235. Very good score. And they have uh, performed as professionally as ever as they win the title. Well, a solid, a solid effort there from the Koreans, Nikki. Yeah, fantastic match. I mean, they just led from the front, didn't they? Really dominant through that. But we could just see the difference in their form. You know, the stronger holds, just more solid throughout. Uh, they looked the better team. Smiles all round and a great win for them. Well, congratulations to Kim Yun hee to Oh Yu Hyun and Song Yun Soo. They win the title, and uh, I think we've got to tip our hat to the Iranians. I think it's a brilliant effort for them to get into the final, Nikki. I mean, beating India and Bangladesh, that's a fine effort from them. It absolutely is. Yeah, that's no mean feat. Um, they've done really well to get here. You know, they've also enjoyed themselves. They've been smiling through the match, and they will have learned a lot from this. What a great stage to be on against Korea. They're going to go away and come back better. They will indeed. So well done to the three archers from Iran Gisa Babordi, Farsi Rahela, and also to the third archer in their team, Kosa Koshna Dukia. But they will win the silver medal, and it is Korea the gold in the women's teams. And very soon we'll have the next matches for you. Let's just run through the other three that we've got coming up for you. We have the men's team's gold medal match next. That's going to feature Korea against Kazakhstan. And then we'll move to the mixed teams competition. We'll have the bronze medal match between Iran and Kazakhstan. And then we'll have the mixed teams gold match between Korea and India. And that should be a really good match, that one. Yes, Archers from 16 countries here in Dakar for this year's championship, which has been held under sunny and humid skies.
So not too far away from that men's gold medal match between Korea and Kazakhstan. Stay with us. First of all, we have the medal ceremony, though, for the women's team's event. Now it's time for victory ceremony of compound women team event. Please welcome the medalist. In compound women team event, the bronze medal. The bronze medal is Kazakhstan. Please give them a big hand. The bronze medal goes to Kazakhstan, representing Leon Victoria, Makruj, Diana and Roxana. Presented by Mr. Shah Alom Shardar, Director of Sports, NSC. And the bro and the silver medal goes to Islamic Republic of Iran, representing Gesa, Baibordi, Farsi, and Kosar. And the medal will be presented by me, Mr. Ejaul Alam, Additional Police Commissioner. And the gold medal for compound women team goes to Republic of Korea. Republic of Korea represented by Kim Yoon Hee, Oh Yoo Yoon, and Song Yoon So. And the medal will be presented by Mr. Porimol Singh, Secretary, National Sports Council. Thank you. Now it's time for national anthem. I request all to stand up.
Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause to our athletes. Thank you very much. So well done there to the Korean women's compound team winning the gold medal here at the Asian Championships. So wonderful performance from Kim Oh and Song. And well done to the Iran team as well. Babodi Farsi and Kushna Dukia who won the silver. And uh, it was Kazakhstan who came through and won the bronze medal. So a great win for them over India in that bronze medal match by 220 points to 208. So congratulations to Victoria Leon, Diana Makachuk, and Roxana Yunusova. They have uh, won the bronze medal for Kazakhstan. Stand by. We'll have the men's team's gold medal match and compound here from the Asian Archery Championships very shortly. Stay with us. Our next match is compound men team. Please welcome the judge and coach. Please welcome the archers. So the men's team's gold medal match here at the 2021 Asian Archery Championships in compound. And now come the six archers, the three Koreans and the three from Kazakhstan. And Kazakhstan are beating Vietnam, Vietnam rather, and India in their matches so far. And the Koreans coming through to beat Iraq and Bangladesh. In target number one, the team Korea representing Che Young Hee. Kim Jong Ho. And Young J Won. In target number two, we have Kazakhstan representing Akbar Ali. Sergey and Andre. Our line judge for this match is Gazalia Rasuli. So let's tell you about the six archers in the Korean team. We have Choi Yong Hee, 36 years of age. He was the top qualifier in the Qualification rounds with a score of 716. And uh, also we have Kim Jong-ho, 27-year-old. He finished second. And uh, just behind him in fifth place was Yang Jae-won. So they are the three archers from Korea as we get started in this men's team's gold medal match in number one. Ten. See the team communicating together. They're aiming to just come off a practice field onto this main arena. Looking like they've got their sights pretty central already. 
Yes, indeed. That was Yang there with the youngest of the three Koreans, 24-year-old, so three tens to start with. And now we have a look at the team from Kazakhstan. This is Akbar Karabayev. Nine. Karabayev, a 32-year-old, high school ranking of 21. Sergei Kristich. Ten. Yeah, he's a very fine archer. Expecting good things and big things from him today in this session. He's also uh, going to be competing for medals in the mixed teams and the individual. And now the youngest of the three Kazakh archers, Andre Tatuyan. Ten. from him at the start he's just uh, 15 years old so very young lad but he can shoot there's no question now we swing back to the Koreans Kim Jong Ho X in fact the Koreans look like they might have changed their order up which is uh, interesting that was Choi with that Arrow now Young, who shot last in the first rotation. X. Gee whiz, this is uh, setting down a marker, isn't it? With five straight tens from the three Koreans. And now for a perfect end, it all falls to Kim Jong-ho. See if they can get 60 out of 60. Ten. There is your answer. So fantastic archery from the three career men's archers. The perfect score in end number one. Ten. The difference with this archer using that wrist release, you can see that first finger on the trigger. Just bouncing around a little bit. X. Well, even though we saw the Koreans get the perfect score in this end, let's see if Tatuyan can complete back-to-back -back tens here to keep his team in touch. Nine. Uh, there is that point, and it's uh, not much of a difference between 10 and 9 and most things in life, Nikki, but in archery can be massive. Yeah, you know, it's just doubled the lead potentially their career have got, so it will affect this match a little bit. We saw those Koreans, like you say, switch their order a little bit, so as long as each archer shoots one arrow in each three-arrow segment, they can change the order as much as they like. Sometimes they'll put... You know, the strongest archer up first to, to start the match off and then that same archer might finish up. Um, they tend to be the sort of toughest mentally positions to, to start and finish. So um, you put your more inexperienced archer perhaps in the middle, try and cushion them a little bit um, between your more exper experienced archers. So yeah, watch out for those switch ups. So it's a two point game at the moment. After the first end of compound men. So those scores are all locked in now. Young Kim and Choi, fantastic performance from them. And Kazakhstan is 58, so Korea is leading after first end. Of course, the maximum score you can get in teams archery is 240. And in their one four elimination match against Iraq, they got 236. So it's not far away, but still room for improvement. The Kazakhstan or the Kazakh archers are going to have to be very close to their absolute best here to stay in touch with the Koreans as we see Akbarli Karabayev go to the shooting line. X. Now, Kristich has been solid so far. Two tens. Looking very comfortable on the shooting line. X. 
Just wondered whether I was going to give him the commentator's curse there for a second and he might sneak <laughs> one into the nine, but not to be. There's a little oh, head nod there as well, wasn't there? Now to Tuyin. As I mentioned, just 15 years old, only coming in to international play right now. He's been one World Youth Championships. Now well, let's see if the Koreans can continue that perfect run so far. As we see Kim start with a 10. Now it's Choi Yong-hee. Oh, a bit of a correction there, but he managed to keep it in the 10. Yeah, it was a slight, uh, he was slightly worried about it, wasn't he? Body language wasn't great that time. Nine. Well, here's the first miss, and it's come off Young's bow. Karabayev, he liked that one. He was walking back even before the arrow hit the target. <laughs> well, Kristic has brought his A game to the shooting line. That's uh, four tens in a row, and he has looked very, very good. So now we got Tatuyan here to try and get the perfect end for Kazakhstan. Nine. And a similar arrow from him to end the second end is to the first as well. So they're locking the score of 59 there, Kazakhstan, in that end. Interesting anchor point, not on the corner of his Aye. mouth, a bit further down the side. Yeah, that's two nines in a row. Have you picked up anything from Young's technique there as to why he uh, hasn't matched his, uh, or equaled his, um, his uh, colleagues, Nicky? Nothing, you know, wild or anything like that. I mean, we are being hypercritical here. You know, expect them to hit the tent all yes. the time, but um, they're not far out, 50 metres. But yeah, he's got an interesting kind of little side anchor going on there. Well, we'll keep an eye on that one as we move through this match. So, 118 plays 117. So, there we are. It's four tens and two nines to Korea in end number two. Five tens and one nine. So, actually, Kazakhstan made up a point there in that end. They outscored the Koreans by one. Doesn't sound like much, Nikki, but you take it, don't you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, so just down to that last arrow of that uh, end there, sadly into the nine, and they would have been all squared up. So this is tight. This is great. This is great shooting from Kazakhstan. You know, they're keeping the pressure on. We're halfway through, and if they can keep this up, I think Korea are going to find it a little bit uncomfortable. Well, particularly liking the form there and the man on the far side of that uh, Kazakh team. He's the man in the dark cap there, Sergei Kristic. He is looking really good. See, Korea is leading with one point. It's like a statue on the shooting line, and his technique has been very solid, and his arrows are going right into the heart of the 10 zone every time. But can he continue it? That's the question. So halfway through this men's team's gold medal match here at the Asian Archery Championships for 2021. Compound archery is what you're watching. The archer shooting for 50 metres at a target, which is 80 centimetres in diameter. That's a 10 ring, 8 centimetres in diameter. So let's see if Kazakhstan can continue to keep in touch with the 
Korean team as we see Akbar Ali Karabayev start the third end. Say, do you watch this technique? Wrist release, that finger on the trigger. Everyone else has got a handheld Nine. release aid. Well, that one just dropped below, didn't it? By about a centimetre, maybe two. The line again was very good. Just the height that time from Kristic. X. Tatuyan comes back nicely, the youngster with his third 10 from five so far. So 29 from 30 on that first rotation. Nine, maybe 10. 10. Well, there was no maybe about that one. Kim getting a 10 in there. And it's uh, five straight 10s from him. He hasn't missed so far. And neither has Choi, so they have both fired five arrows each, or shot five arrows each rather, Choi and Kim, Nikki, five tens in a row, they're going great, Yang here. Ten. Just before the buzzer expired as well, so three tens there from Korea, so they extend the lead by one again. Looking so solid, isn't he? Straight off the line. There's no follow through. Get that shot away and get off. Give your team that time they need. X! Well, Karabayev and Kristic. That's uh, five tens from six arrows. Nine. Oh, I just dropped that extra point there, so 58 from 60 on that end for Kazakhstan. Means if Korea get the maximum 10-10-10 here, they'll extend their lead to three. Nine. Hmm, interesting. Joy misses the 10 for the first time in the match. Look at those fingers moving on that release. Yes. Well, Kim absolutely put that one dead center. Well, that ends the third end, so 59 plays 58 in that end, which means Korea extend their lead back to two points, which is where we were after the first end. So just doing enough to preserve that slender lead. But Karabayev, Kristic and Tutuyan have been good in this match. Yeah, they really have, you know, to be in the last end here, just two points down. They've got to keep their momentum now, keep that pressure on Korea. I mean, there's little cracks, there's little bits of, you know, looking at those Koreans, you can see their hands in the release aid, a little bit of movement and things. So, Korea yeah, let's see if they can keep their composure to this last end. And Kazakhstan is 175, so... Well, yes, it's very important, isn't it? Points. Try very hard not to think at all about your opponent on the other side of the... The range it's just all about what you can control and see if these three Kazakh archers can hold it together here 
somehow come back from a two-point deficit. If they do, of course, and lock the scores up, we'll be off to a shoot-off. So up steps Akbarali Karabayev to start the fourth and final end in this men's team's gold medal match. Ten. Well, it's rinse and repeat, isn't it? From Karabayev. Ten. Well, now to Tuyan. He's had six arrows so far in the match. Three tens and three nines. If he ever needs two tens, it's right now. Ten. Well, you can't ask for any better than that, can you? Brilliant effort from them. Exactly what they needed. Got to put this pressure on Korea now. Keep it tight. Ten. Well, Kim's looked as solid as all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight tens. Seven arrows, seven tens from Kim. He's been perfect in the match. Ten. Not far behind him is Choi. Now Young, four tens, two nines from him so far. X! Wow, just brilliant archery from all six. Six tens, <laughs> Kazakhstan can't get any closer because Korea are just off to the races. Ten. Ten. I'll tattoo you now to end Kazakhstan's quest for a gold medal, and he needs a ten. Brilliant. So 60 from 60 in that last end. They've only dropped five points in the match. That score of 235 is higher than their previous matches that they have won in this competition. But will it be enough to win? Up steps Joy. Nine. Oh, one more slight slip up. And we're going to have... A very interesting situation as Choi misses the 10. This is Young. 10. I think they grabbed the line, but by the barest of margins. <sighs> wow. So Young breathes a huge sigh of relief. So we're down to Kim here. Kim for the gold medal. He needs a 10. X! What a way to win it for Korea. Brilliant performance from Kim Jong-ho in particular. He fired his eight arrows in that match. Eight tens. Didn't miss the ten ring. Did Kim Jong-ho. Brilliant performance from him in particular. And he fired in that toy. Shot that ten there when the pressure was really on, Nicky. It was pretty impressive stuff from him, wasn't it? It really was, you know, oh, Kazakhstan, what a fantastic match. They kept the pressure on Korea all the way. They made them shoot their best they possibly could, and what a match. I think they are checking those liners because this is really tight, but, yeah, incredible shooting from both teams. Well, Kazakhstan only dropping five points in the match. Korea four. What a performance from both teams. The standard very high. As I touched on, that score of 235 was actually 
the best so of the tournament the for Kazakhstan, Harry but not good here. enough to win. And there they are, the winners of the gold medal, the men's teams. Compound Archery Championship title winners here at the Asian Championships of 2021. Choi Yonggi, Kim Jong-ho and Yang Jae-won of Korea. And Choi now becomes a four-time gold medalist at the Asian Championships. Kim's won three golds. And Yang wins one I think his second, if I go back through his profile here, to go with his gold in the teams two years ago. So brilliant effort from Choi Kim and Young to win gold in the men's teams, and we'll have the medal ceremony very shortly. Just looking back on those highlights, watch that thumb of that trigger. You know, it was moving around quite a bit on that last arrow, and a bit of pressure getting to them, but they held their nerve. Yeah, there's nothing like getting one in there to win a championship, Nikki, is there? Oh, it's a fantastic feeling. You'd be the, you know, the last team member on the line, shooting that last arrow, get it right in the 10 and winning the gold medal at these championships. Oh, fantastic shooting from both teams. Well, really brilliant. A brilliant match that one was. No question about it. And uh, we look forward to the medal ceremony coming very shortly. Don't forget, we too, we have the two mixed teams matches coming up too. The bronze medal match between Iran and Kazakhstan. And then Korea play India in the gold medal match. We're standing by now for the, for the men's medal ceremony. With gold going to Korea, Kazakhstan winning silver and India prevailing over Bangladesh to win the bronze in that match, 235 to 223. Now it's time for compound man team victory ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound man team event. The bronze medal representing India. Our guest, Mr. Asaduzzaman Kohinur, Deputy Secretary General, Bangladesh Olympic Association, will be presenting the medal. Representing Aman Shaini, Abhishek Barma, and Isha Vyadav.
द सिल्वर मेडल रिप्रेजेंटिंग कजाकिस्तान अकबर अली काराबाएव सर्जे क्रिश्चिश अंद्रे ट्रुटून एंड आवर गेस्ट मिस्टर आशिकुर रहमान मिकु डेपुटी सेक्रेटरी जेनरल बांग्लादेश ओलिम्पिक एसोसिएशन विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग द मेडल Now the compound men team event the gold medal goes to Republic of Korea representing Choi Young Hee Kim Jong Ho Yang J1 our guest general Ajiz Ahmed retired president Bangladesh Olympic Association will be presenting the medal Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Republic of Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause to our athletes. Thank you very much. Our next match will so be starting soon. So, wrapping up the winners there of all the medalists in the men's team's right. compound competition here at the 22nd Asian right. Archery right. Championships right. in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Congratulations to the gold medal winning team from Korea. Choi Yong hee Kim Jong ho who shot the perfect 8 from 8 in that match. Yang and Jae Won the third member of the Korean team, the silver medal. And a very courageous performance goes to Kazakhstan, Akbar Ali Karabayev, Sergei Krishtich, and Andrei Tatuyan. And the bronze medal winners are India. So congratulations to their three archers, Aman Saini, uh, Abhishek Verma, and Rizhab Yavadev, who has won the uh, bronze medal for India. Stand by, we'll have the mixed teams bronze medal match between Iran and Kazakhstan coming up next, and that will be followed by the mixed teams gold medal match between Korea and India. Our next match is compound mixed team event, bronze medal match. Please welcome the judge and coach.
please welcome the archers. So here come the archers for the bronze medal mixed teams match here in the compound competition at the 2021 Asian Archery Championships. And this one's featuring Iran against Kazakhstan. Iran's team, Gisa Boboidi and Amir Kazimpour, up against Raksana Yunusova and Sergei Kristic from Kazakhstan. Iran Compound coming into this. Mixed team bronze medal match in target number one. Islamic Republic of Iran representing Geza Baibordi. Amir Kajempur. In target number two, we have Kazakhstan. Roxana Yunusova. Sergey Kriz. Sergey Christos and our lunges is Sunetra Sevaniratne. So there they are, the four archers, as uh, just about to say. Iran come into this bronze medal match having beaten uh, Bangladesh in the one form eliminations by three, but then losing to Korea in the semi final. But that went to a shoot off. So Kazakh, uh, Iran going very close to beating them for losing 20 to 19 in that shoot off and uh, Kazakhstan beating Vietnam Vietnam in their one four elimination by five points and then losing to India by two 156 to 154 in what was a pretty good match of mixed teams archery so each archer will shoot two arrows per end as we get the match underway now it's going to be a run to go first in this mixed teams bronze medal match Giza Bobodi Already a silver medalist here in the women's team's competition. Eight. Oh, and she drops yeah, into she the knew, eight. She knew that was going to drop low, didn't she? She could see that arm getting thrown up into the air. Bit of nerves to start the match. And now we get our first look at Aman Kazimpour, a 45-year-old from Tehran. Debuted for Iran back in 2013. Quarter finalist here in the individual competition as well. So he's been going pretty well here. Now we have our first look at Roxana Yunusova, an 18 year old from Kazakhstan. Nine. So a young archer with lots of promise. And now we have Kristic, Sergei Kristic, who's, uh, of course, we've just seen in the men's teams competition. So he's trying to win back-to-back -back medals here, winning silver in the men's teams and now going for bronze here. Nine. Got the height right, just still a little bit over to the right-hand side of the target. So last arrow here for Iran in the first of the ends. Ten. Well, great recovery there. Don't know if you saw it, Nicky, but a bug landed on his arrow as he was set to fire, or set to release the arrow, rather. It was a bit of a tight squeeze there for Cousin Poor. Yunusova. Uh, First 10. So Kristic now can lock in a pretty healthy buffer after this first end. X! And he's done just that. So two tens to start the first end for Kristic. And it's Kazakhstan by three. Yeah, great shooting from them. I mean, when you get something landing on your bow or something like that can be really distracting. Um, you know, you've got to try and keep your focus uh, on the target. These compound archers have got a peep sight, so that's a little sight in the back of the string. 
uh, they look through that and then into a magnified scope so really trying to keep your focus on your aim and keep that shot going even if you know sometimes a bug land on your equipment or you know on you or something like that there's no time in these matches to set, come down and start again they've just got to crack on and, and shoot the best arrow they can yes it's all part of the game isn't it putting it out of your mind somehow so Yunusova and Kristic. Kristic so still going in the individual competition as well, which we'll see in another session. So he's having a uh, a good tournament. It's great to see Iran, the rest of the Iranian team, giving their compatriots a good amount of support from the stands here. And hopefully Gisa Babordi can put behind her that first end where she scored eight and nine and come back with a flourish in end number two. Very quick arrow, <clears throat> just not sort of settling in, you know, to her shots at the moment, but straight in the ten with that one. And look at that side rod, low down, really pointing out to the side. X. A lot of weight on it. Because I'm poor now, starting to look or score pretty well he's uh, open with a nine but followed it with two tens Ten. Ten. Well, Christich is just carrying on from that men's team's competition. He only missed a 10 ring once in that gold medal match, and now he's got perfection so far in this match. 10. Oh, that's better from Babordi. Back to back 10s for her. She put that first end behind her now. Now, Kazim Poor now. Hoping to see, secure a, a perfect scoring end here. Nine. So they just dropped the one point there, 39. Much improved though from their 36. Nine. Well, they've scored exactly the same in the first end as they have here in the second. 39 again. And Kazakhstan, just two points off the maximum score after eight of the 16 arrow contest. This is a Kazakh pair. Kristic, very experienced, 33 years of age. And Yunusova, 18, just new onto the scene. Nikki is a nice combination. You can see Yunusova really feeding off Kristic quite nicely in this match. Yeah, you know, that's what's great about these team matches, and particularly the mixed team round. You know, we saw that in the Olympics the first time this year, and it's a great round for, you know, a member of the men's team, women's team to come together and, you know, perform, perform as a team. So, yeah, it's a great place to get that experience. And at 18 years old, this is a great place to be. Absolutely no question about it. Yunusova finished ninth in the individual qualification. Score is 697. 
Yes, was eliminated in the individual competition in the 1-8 eliminations by Gubudi here from Iran. He beat her by two, so they had a good battle in that match. So this is their second meeting of these championships. And now Bobordi to start the third end here of the mixed teams bronze medal match in compound archery. The 2021 championships. I just dropped off the rest, just helping it back on that front finger. Ten. Oh, Chris Stitch has been brilliant, hasn't he? So confident and steady. Big strong shoulders on him too, Nicky. He's a very solid archer. Yeah, it's all about stability, trying to hold these X. bows nice and still, nice and calm. Get that good hold so you can just make that shot happen. Oh, well, Bordy was a bit shaky in that first end, an eight and a nine, but since then, 10, 10, 10, 10. She recovered nicely. Forty out of forty for a run in that end. That'll keep them in touch, and they'll be hoping that the Kazakh pair here maybe could drop a point or two. It would really help them. Nine. At well, least one. So we know now Iran will catch up by at least one. But any. Point is valuable. X. And Krista, she just doesn't look like missing, does he? 117 to 115. So it's a two-point advantage with one end to play. There's a three-point advantage to Kazakhstan after the first end. Three after the second end, and now it's been cut back by one after the third end. Conditions have been pretty good here. You can see a little bit of that wind flapping around, but these compounders won't be too much bothered by that. So with their super fast bows, arrows travelling around 300 feet a second. They might just be maybe bubbling off very slightly. I wouldn't think they'd be aiming off at all so in these conditions. Kazakhstan is still in after that in. They are leading with two points. So a bronze medal at stake here, and a run trail by two. What drama, what twists might we see in this last end here of this bronze medal match? You're about to find out. Don't forget we have the gold medal match coming up straight after the conclusion of this one between Korea, the top seeds, and India, seeded number two. So I hope you can stay with us for that match. So the fourth and final end now in the bronze medal mixed teams match, and it's going to be Giza Bori of Iran to go first. They trail by two points. Nine. Oh, that quick shot again. You just saw that front arm. You know, she wasn't ready really. Aiming in the wrong place. Trying to make a recovery. Much different technique. Just seeing him really settle. The bow slows. Nice shot. Ten. 
Lucifer has been solid all the way through. Fourth ten there from her. And now Kristic, who has five from five. Nine. Well, that is interesting. Kristic's first nine of the match. Well, the Iranians now need, they've got to get two tens here. Ten. Will it be enough for the bronze medal? Amir Karzampur with his last arrow of the match. X! What a great arrow from him. So 154. So to win, 19 is the score required from... Kazakhstan's Unusova and Kristic. Eight. Ooh. Ooh, wow. My word, that was a surprise. So now Kristic needs a 10 just to send the match to a shoot off. X. Well, he stepped up there and banged it in well done sergey kristic but we are all locked up 154 inch which means we'll be going to a shoot off to decide the bronze medal compound bronze medal match unofficially we see both teams got same score same points we'll be waiting for the yes it is and it's going to be a shoot off well, for here is the, confirmed the bronze medal decision by the judge at the target end and it is a square Compound match 154 each shoot off well, take place now at eight nikki that was the one wasn't it as we await the targets to be changed now fresh targets being put on there and uh Yunusova, the 18 year old that's what pressure can do i guess yeah, absolutely. I mean, I didn't see a massive issue with the arrow, whether there was a, the, the breeze has been slightly to the right, but I think more than anything else, probably a bit of pressure there. So she's got to push that reset button now, get her head back into this. She was looking confident through the match. Got to get herself back in that place. Well, what happens here? It's nice and simple, isn't it, Nikki? Uh, the rules for a shoot off? Yep, one arrow each. Um, First of all, we'll go on score. If they tie up on score, then it's going to be closest arrow to the medal. And Yunusova has just got to put that eight behind her now. Somehow shove it out of her mind. Not easy sometimes when the medal's at stake, but we'll see how she can cope with that. So here we go. The shoot-off to decide the mixed team's bronze medal match at the Asian Archery Championships of 2021. Iran, Gisa Bubudi and Amir Kazampur up against Kazakhstan's Roxana Yunusova and Sergei Kristic. One arrow each. All those hundreds and thousands of arrows on the training. In training come down to this. So the shoot-off to the side, the bronze medal. Babordi getting herself in that nice settled mindset. Mixed teams bronze medal match. Sound of the shoot-off. Babordi to go first for Iran. Nine. Took her time a little bit more on that one, but just low, not far out. Could make all the difference. Now we switch our attention to Yunusova here. Ten. A long hold there, but it's grabbed the line. It's good enough, and I don't blame her for smiling. <laughs> She can't do anything now as we see Cousin Poor now really needing a 10. Ten. 
And he delivers brilliantly. So here it is. It's on the bow here of Sergei Kristic. He gets a 10. Kazakhstan win the bronze medal. Nine. Oh, my goodness. It's a nine. Ooh. Who's closest to the center? It's 19 apiece. I reckon Iran might have it. Shoot off. We'll be waiting for... Judges. Yeah, I think Kazakhstan's 10 was on the line, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, let's just have a look here. Wow, the measuring equipment is out, Nikki. This is always fun, isn't it? Absolutely. This is why they put those new target faces on, so they can make sure they can measure accurately to the very centre of the target, what we call the little X in the middle. And check the other target as well. For judges. Now. And there it is. It's confirmation. Iran have got it. Got wow, brilliant effort of compound mixed from the board and Kazim Poor. They started a bit shakily in that first team, but they've come through in one in brilliant fashion. So there is the bronze medal in what was a terrific match. Giza Babordi and Amir Kazimpour get the bronze medal by the barest of margins against Yunusova and Kristic of Kazakhstan. He'll be disappointed not to win that medal. Great match, Nikki. It was. It just shows you, you know, it's not over till it's over. You know, they didn't open up fantastically well a few nerves in that first end but they came back they kept it strong all the way through to that shoot off and took the bronze medal well well done and uh, i'm sure the iranian members up in the stands there will be very happy as well i think they won it by about three or four millimeters in the end but still it's not much that is not much a great win there for iran who have won bronze over kazakhstan in the mixed teams competition here at the asian Archery Championship. Stand by for the gold medal match, which is coming in just now a moment between the top match. seeds, Korea and India, who are seeded to. The gold two. medal match will take place for compound mixed team event. Now it's time for compound mixed team gold medal match. Please welcome judge and coaches. Please welcome the archers for gold medal match of compound mixed team event. Well, thanks for staying with us. We now move to the gold medal match, mixed teams competition, and out come the four archers. The Koreans Kim Yoon-hee and Choi Yong-hee up against the Indian pairing of Rizhab Yadav and Jyoti Sureka Venom. The top seeds from Korea are up against the number two seeds from India. Compound mixed team gold medal match in target number one. We have Korea representing Kim Yoon Hee, Che Yoon Hee. In target number two, we have India representing Jyoti Shureka Venam, Rishab Yadab. Our line judge is Sarwar. So here we go. It is the mixed teams gold medal match. Let's have a look at the Indian pair first. Venom and Yadav. Yadav, 19 years of age. Venom, 25. And uh, 
you know, of course, very experienced archer, despite uh, being just 25. She's been to eight world championships already. India coming into this match having a bye in the in the first round of their mixed teams competition. They won four eliminations, then beating Kazakhstan 156-154. And Choi and Kim come into this having beaten a run and a shoot-off by 20-19, to 19, 156 each in that semi-final. So they were taken to the brink of defeat. So here we go. It's in number one now in the mixed teams gold medal match. And it's Kim Yun Hee to start for Korea. Nine. Both the Koreans, of course, already gold medalists here, winning in the men's and women's teams competition. Expecting this to be quite a tight match with both these teams winning their semi finals with the same score of 156. It should be a good match. Nine. Well, Yadav, just 19 years old. He's already been to two world championships and now Venom. Ten. Of course, uh, you enjoyed recently watching getting a, the first 150 on TV for a for a woman compound archer at the Worlds recently, Nikki. Yeah, she's an incredible athlete. Um, we're going to see her again in the individuals here, and yeah, want to see her shooting well. Nine. Kim just uh, slightly off of her radar to start the match. Two nines. But if Choi gets a ten here. Uh, Shouldn't be too much harm done for the Koreans. Ten. Well, we let that one go with just a couple of seconds left on the on the clock. But India can take the lead here with two tens. X. Nine. Well, two nines, two tens to both teams there, Nikki. It's uh, an interesting start. It is, yeah. All tied up, like I said. Thought this one was going to be tight. I think it will be all the way through. Like This Korean team have come in here with beating the world record, I believe, in the qualifying round. Shooting 116 and a 108 combined score of 14.24. Amazing qualification round. That's right, amazing score. Uh, in fact, uh, Choi, we see there, broke, broke the championship record in the individual with 7.16. That's right, and then, of course, he combined with his two colleagues to win, so to get the championship record NBC, too in the men's Korea team. So pretty, India, pretty amazing uh, 38 and 38. effort from him in particular in the qualifications. But yes, a world record score, 14.24. Incredible, a high standard. But it counts for nothing now, Nikki. It counts for nothing. Yep, it's all about standing on the stage right now, 50 meters. Who can hold their nerve? Any of these archers can shoot tens, but how many can you get in there in a row under the pressure? So 38 apiece it is after the first of the four ends in this mixed teams gold medal match. Korea playing India. And here we go with end number two, Kim Yun Hee. Ten. That's more like it from her. Still questioning with the coach, you know, where is that arrow sitting?
Still movement of the thumb there on the trigger. Ten. He's taking his time, isn't he? Yeah, then you get 20 seconds an arrow. So they've got to make sure they get all their arrows within time. If they don't, if they go over the time clock, they'll lose the highest scoring arrow. Nine. Well, Yadav is yet to find his range. That's three arrows now. No tens yet. Just three nines. has been fantastic it's three tens from her so brilliant archery from her X well that was the improvement that Kim was looking for choice standards so he just takes his time here to get set. they been very good so far. X! Much quicker release that time. Still the same score. Ten. So that's the perfect end there for the Koreans in the second of the four Ten. ends. And Yara finally gets a 10. Let's see if that really kickstarts him. Nine. It's an interesting reaction so on that shot. Way. She just had a little bit of a movement of her head, and you could see it just wasn't quite right. Yeah, yeah, just the slightest little issue there, perhaps, there for Venom. We've seen the Koreans now extend Second their lead to gold medal match. It was 38 apiece okay. after the first Korea end, and, and now at 40 out of 40. And you just, it's not, not often you really see the Koreans, any Koreans on the international stage, continue with just a slightly subpar result, right, Nikki? I mean, uh, if you do see it for maybe back-to-back -back arrows, you kind of know they're going to come back, uh, but pretty quickly. Yeah, their consistency is phenomenal, so you know, you do expect them to get themselves back in the 10 there. But you know, India are really strong as well. They can come back in this match. We've seen in the in the bronze match actually, you know, um, Iran come back from a shaky start, so all to play for. Yes, exactly. Iran were three points behind at the halfway stage of that bronze medal match, but came back and won the match in a shoot-off. So it is possible for India to come back here. So it's going to be Rizhab Yadav to begin the third end in this gold medal match. Ten. Duty shooting second as the more experienced archer. Bit more pressure. Ten. In the second arrow. Well, the Indian fans in the stands love that one. Nine. Just watching that back elbow, it's a nice camera angle that, and I just saw that little elbow just come forward a little bit, I just wonder if she left, lost a little bit of pressure. Nine, maybe ten. Hmm. Oh, that looked like it just missed the ten line, didn't it? Really close, too close just for us to tell, but we'll have to watch that one. Put a little star next to my nine on the scorecard here. Let's have a look at Yadav. Nine. Well, 
Well, big arrow here for Jyoti Venom, who she can score a 10 here. Ten. She does. Brilliant stuff. So they just dropped the one point in that third end. And they ask Kim and Choi to score 10s to preserve their lead. X. Superb arrow from Kim. Brilliant response from Choi and Kim. And they preserved that one point lead. 116 to 115. But there was one arrow which we had a little question mark next to it, which was Choi's first. Event. Could be a 10. So After we'll two see. We see. Korea was leading with two points. And the scores have been locked in, and what are we going to so see here? 116 each. Korea is 116, and India is 115. So only yeah, one so point nine. leading. Hmm. Korea is leading with only one point. So what happened there is the Indians outscored the Koreans by one point in that end, and we are... Going to the deciding end here, or well, the last end rather, the Koreans up by one. And the Indians will be telling themselves, Nikki, well, if we can catch up one point like we did then, we can do it again in this last end. Yep, they've got to put the pressure on here. They've got to go out there, get some tens in, make Korea work for this, try and push the shoot off. So here we go. Fourth and final end, Rizhab Yadav to go first for India. Ten. So Venom now with her last or her second to last arrow, she has five tens from six so far in the match. Ten. Make that six from seven. <laughs> exactly what they needed. They've got to put the pressure on, make career work for this. See if they can distract them. Kim Yun Hee. X. Well, that is brilliant from here. That's four tens from her last five. And Choi here has only missed the ten ring once in the match so far. X. And that record continues. So, perfection from all four. Archers, it comes down to the last arrow in the last end here. Korea leading by one. Nine. Well, that could be costly. X. Wow, oh, she has been superb through this match. Of her eight arrows, seven tens, one nine. But the Koreans have got to score 19 points to win the gold medal. Nine. Well, well, well. So it comes down to Choi Young here. A 10 wins, a 9 ties, and 8. The title will be India's. 10. And Choi steps up as he's done all the way through and scores the 10 when he needs it most. And the Koreans have got it by one point. Well, a tight match.
between Korea and India. But Kim and Choi have done it. They've won their second we'll gold for the of these Asian Championships. Winner from our judges. always in front, pretty much through. But and it was you tight. See, the winner they is always Korea. Needed. The gold medal A goes ten. to Korea in he, compound he mixed in front, event. Choi did it brilliantly at the end there. Another good match here at these championships, Nikki. Yeah, really good match. We knew it was going to be tight. We saw the quality of both these teams through the semi-finals, but Korea just edging out and maintaining that lead through and keeping strong. Ceremony. Well, they dropped five points in the match, but it was good enough for Kim and Choi. And for the Indians, Nikki, maybe, uh, well, it's one of those ones where you probably think, mm, you know, if, if I could only have got one more 10 instead of one nine, we'd be in a shoot off <laughs> and we could still be winning the title as well. Those sort of matches for them, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's just down to millimetres. So that's why it's just so important in these matches. It's never over till it's over. I keep saying it, but, you know, you've got to keep your head switched in the game, kept on the process, you know, just trying to do what you can with each and every arrow. Well, Choi's 10 snuck in there above his compatriots or teammates arrow which was a nine so it's Korea so far three golds from three winning the women's teams the women the men's teams and now the mixed teams and this wonderful success rate they have in international archery is continuing here in Dakar Bangladesh at the 2021 Asian Championship so they win gold India win the silver and earlier it was Iran winning the bronze in a shoot-off over Kazakhstan. We'll be standing by for the victory ceremony very shortly. Now it's time for victory ceremony. Compound mixed team. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound mixed team. Please welcome the medalist and the guest. Compound mixed team event. The bronze medal goes to Islamic Republic of Iran, and the medal will be presented by Mohammad Saidur Rahman, Edition Secretary, Minister of Health. The bronze medal goes to Islamic Republic of Iran, representing Gesa by Bordi and Amir Kazimpur. The silver medal goes to Team India. The medal will be presented by Mr. Jafaruddin Siddiqui, Executive Director, City Group. The medal, silver medal goes to India, representing Jyoti Shurekha Venam and Rishav Yadav.
in compound mixed team event. The gold medal goes to Republic of Korea. The medal will be presented by Soyat Shahed Reja, Secretary General National Olympic Council, Bangladesh. The gold medal goes to Republic of Korea, representing Kim Yoon Yi, Choi Yung Hye. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Republic of Korea. Thank you very much. Please give them a big hand. So that is the here we are. Congratulations the to the Koreans who have swept the gold medals in all the team's events here at the 2021-22 at Asian Archery Championships, winning the men's, the women's teams, and now the mixed teams. And congratulations to the, all the other medalists that have won medals here in this session. We'll be back in two hours' time. We'll have all the individual compound action to look forward to in the women's and the men's competitions. Hope you can join us then. In the meantime, thanks for watching from Dhaka here in Bangladesh.